Hello, this is Arnel. If you're a beginner EKG reader, you must have been taught of second degree AB block type 1, also known as Mobitz 1 or Winky Block. So many names for the same things. For me, I like using Winky Block with so because it sounds fancy. LOL. Anyway, they always taught you that in Winky Block, there is longer, longer drop, or the PR interval prolongs until there's a drop or a non-conducted P wave. The EKG features I just described is typical Winky Bach. However, there is an arrhythmia called a typical Winky Bach. Second, there is an EKG terminology called concealed conduction. You will hear this as you read more books. It just means conduction that cannot be seen on the surface EKG but will manifest as something else like um, a block or a non-conducted P wave or a sudden prolongation of a PR interval. This strip will show you both. This patient was asymptomatic during this event. What kind of heart block? First and foremost, always remember that an arrhythmia can almost always be explained by a single phenomenon. Let us try to dissect this case. First, I look to search for the P waves. The base P to P I use to march the P waves are marked with blue arrows. From there, we can march backwards or forward. And the atrial rate is about 88 beats per minute. So, it is obvious that some of the P waves are buried in the T waves or are hidden from you. Close inspection of the T waves like in lead 3 will show that the T waves vary. This is because the P wave is merging with the T waves. Now there are concerns because there's a non-conducted P wave, which is marked with a double brown arrow. What is this block? A simple way to know whether this block is due to second degree type 1, Mobitz 1 or Winky Bach, or type 2, Mobitz 2, is to compare the PR interval of the last conducted P wave with the first conducted P wave. If the last conducted P wave is longer than the first conducted P wave, then it is second degree type 1 or Mobitz 1. But if the PRI are the same for the last conducted P wave and the first conducted P wave, then it is second degree type 2 or Mobitz 2. Now in this case, the last conducted P wave has a PRI of about 0.32 seconds versus 0.28 seconds. Thus, this is second degree type 1 or Mobitz 1. Next, what is happening here? The wide QRS complex is a premature ventricular complex or a PVC. The P wave after the PVC is not conducted because of retrograde ventriculoatrial conduction. This retrograde VA conduction is termed concealed conduction because it cannot be seen on the surface EKG but manifested as a block or non-conducted P wave. This VA conduction made the AV node refractory to the incoming sinus P wave. Thus, the sinus P wave was blocked or not conducted. This is better appreciated with that ladder diagram. The PVC just made the strip a little bit complicated, but the whole arrhythmia is just Mobitz 2, or rather Mobitz 1. There is one more thing that this strip can teach us. As I mentioned, most textbooks will tell you uh, Mobitz 1 is a progressive prolongation, the PR interval until you encounter non-conducted P wave. However, in this case, the PRI, the beginning, 
and the latter part of the strip are the same but prolong. This is what you see in a typical Winky Buck. In a typical Winky Buck, when the cycle is long or it takes several beats before a P wave is blocked or not conducted, the PRI may remain the same but prolong. And sometimes the PRI will shorten, but it will lengthen before the non-conducted P wave. A typical Winky Buck is not uncommon. It could be seen in more than 50% of cases. If you catch it in the middle of the cycle, it will look like a first degree AB block. You have to look for the drop P wave to appreciate the Winky Buck and you have to review longer strips. So this case is sinus rhythm, a typical Winky Buck interrupted by a PVC with concealed retrograde ventricular atrial conduction causing a non-conducted P wave. I hope you like the case.